Today I'm going to be watching this video, it's called 10 Ways Canadians and Americans Are Different. Now, I'm not sure if this guy's Canadian or American, so it'll be interesting to see his opinions. Uh, you can tell me what you think about these, tell me your opinion, what ways you think Canadians and um, Americans are different, uh, or what ways you're similar as well, that might be interesting too, so let's check this out. What's up guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel, and today I'm going to be sharing 10 ways that Canadians are different than Americans. Now let's start with some basic facts, and as this list goes on, we'll get to some more serious stuff at the end. Number one, we use kilometers per hour, not miles per hour. In fact, you guys are like the only ones who use miles per hour. <laughs> I mean, check this map out. Yeah. And also we in can the, do like 110 in the UK, on the we highway. Use that as well you for guys some can reason. only do what, like 60, 65? Come on guys, it's time to join the winning team on this one. The second way we're different is we use Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. I know Americans love their Fahrenheit. They love to say, oh yeah, it's so hot. It's 105 degrees out today. No, it's not 105 degrees out today or my skin would be on fire. It's like 36, <laughs> you know, it's, it's Celsius. It's my skin will still be on thing fire that literally at everyone else uses except for... <laughs> <sighs> uh, moving on to number three. Yeah, our money is uh, plastic instead of paper. And I know it looks kind of weird and people are always like, is that real money? Like, what, what is this? I think it's the best money. It's and so I'm cool. old enough to remember Similar back to when we had paper bills and they introduced the plastic ones. Oh, Sonny, those were crazy times. And at first everyone's like, but they're so slippery. Like, we were not going to be able to... Actually, no, it's, it's fine. It's money. It, it works. It doesn't tear. Um, I'm not going to test this theory too hard because this is a 50, but yeah, like is it doesn't it really tear untainable? easily at least. And also like if you forget about your money and it goes through the washing machine, it's fine. There's no way for water or heat to damage this, these bills. So uh, yeah, I think that's another win for Canada. Oh yeah, speaking of money, I, I mean, I know this is a minor thing, but do you guys remember when there used to be like that little copper colored thing that was never good for buying anything and it would just weigh your pockets down and you'd always be like fumbling with them. Oh yeah, pennies, pennies. Um, yeah, we got rid of those like seven years ago, something like that. Well, probably the most talked about item in today's yeah, those federal ones, I think budget we still is the of the penny. Actually. And at first everyone was like, no, nah, but we like P. pennies. They're like those cool little guys that hang out in our pockets and always like accidentally come out when we're reaching for our keys. Oh, I, I like them because you see them all over the place. Finding things is fun. But then we got rid of pennies <laughs> and I haven't really missed them. I don't know, I don't really deal with change. I use my debit and stuff, so. Um. Yeah? Yeah, you guys should probably get rid of pennies. But believe it or not, this video is not just me uh, giving Americans advice on how to live their life. I actually do want to talk about some more serious cultural differences than just pennies. And to begin with, let's go to number five. Everything is bigger in America. 12 yards long, two lanes wide, 65 tons of American pride. <laughs> Americans like to say everything is bigger in Texas. I don't know, I guess Texas is like the most American America to ever be America. The American when, America. when I'm a Canadian and I go anywhere in the States, everything gets bigger. The roads you drive on become these crazy freeways with like eight lanes of traffic. The food portions get bigger. I remember when I was a kid and my family took a trip to California, and we went to McDonald's or something, and I was just shocked at how big the cups were. Do you really need that much Coke before 11 a.m.? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's America. Things are bigger, what can I say? And sort of connected to that last one. Is that something you actually notice as a Canadian? Because it's, obviously, I've never been to the USA, but the reputation or stereotype of America is everything's big, whether it is the roads, the buildings, the food, for sure. Uh, but as a Canadian living so close and probably traveling there quite a few times, do you notice it? Is it something you notice like as soon as you cross the border? Is everything bigger? How does the food portions compare between America and Canada? One, I have to say that America is a great place to be rich. Probably the best place in the world to be rich. The American dream that people talk about. Like you guys are still the place that so many people around the world want to get to because it's where you can make it the biggest. You guys can hit levels in America that, I mean, not to diss my country, but we're just not at that same high level. 
with that being said, I think Canada is a great place to... Yeah, just to talk about that briefly, obviously he said about everybody wanting to go to America to get that American dream, become rich, be successful. But I feel like just as many people want to go to Canada, like so many like people, I, I live in Asia, in the countries that people always want, want to move to, Australia, Canada, America. But is it for a different reason they want to go to Canada? Is it just a better quality of life? Is it just because Canada integrates foreigners better than America? Something like that, I don't know. What's the the good the reasons people would move to Canada over America or America over Canada, to in your opinion? Rich. I don't mean it's a great place to be poor. I just mean if you're not at that highest level, I think like middle class life is probably better in Canada than Maybe in the United States. Writing, yeah. We just have like government support systems and we have a society that believes that everyone should have a basic standard of living. We pay more taxes and stuff like that. Sometimes like hardcore libertarians and people from the US think that we are completely socialist and think that Canada has gone crazy. That's one way to see it. The way we see it is just like people deserve a chance at a good life. And listen, guys, I know when you talk about politics, everyone has a different view. Everyone has a different opinion. And I know enough to know that the government doesn't always speak for all the people. So it's not like there's Americans who wouldn't like, you know, a university to be cheaper. And it's not like there's Canadians who wouldn't like to pay less taxes. It's kind of like these are just generalizations about where the countries are. Oh, yeah. And another reason Canada is a great place not to be rich is free health care. Yeah. Um, little known fact, there was recently a law passed that means that Canadians have to mention free health care in any conversation with Americans or any discussion about Americans. Um, so free health care, free health care, free health care. <laughs> Let's move on to number nine. And number nine is Americans think that they are the center of the universe. Um, <laughs> I can already hear the angry comments coming down below, but hear me out on this one because I've given a lot of thought to this. As some of you know, I travel a lot. I, I, I go to different countries and sometimes I'll be staying in hostels and stuff with many different travelers and you meet people from all around the world. And when you do that, you introduce yourself. So you tell each other where you're from. And I've seen this situation so many times where you have one traveler who says, yeah, I'm from China. Another traveler says, oh, I'm from Germany. Another one says, I'm from Australia. I tell people I'm from Canada. And then an American will say, I'm from New Jersey, <laughs> or I'm from Ohio. Whereas no one else in the world does that. I would never tell a group of travelers that I'm from Manitoba because they don't know Manitoba. Just like a German would never say they are from, I, I had to write this one down, Schleswig-Holstein, Schleswig-Holstein. <laughs> it's a real place, look it up. <laughs> I do understand it. Like, this isn't a diss. I understand it because you guys are the cultural... You guys are like the cultural standard, at least for the English-speaking world. Like, so many of our magazines and our movies and our music and all this stuff is about America, set in America, made by Americans. Before I ever visited Los Angeles, like, I'd heard of Inglewood, I'd heard of Compton, I'd heard of Long Beach. Because I listened to hip hop. I listened to Tupac and Biggie when I was in high school. We have an understanding of America as non-Americans that isn't reciprocal. And so I would say that Americans have the spotlight and for the most part, they like it. Uh, and for the most part, Canadians like not being the center of the universe. Like there's a lot of Canadian actors and famous people who you probably don't even know they're Canadian. People like this. <laughs> That's like such a good list of now I have time for one more rant and people. it's gonna be yeah that one again like that's interesting I guess maybe that occasion when you ask somebody where they're, where they're from they say New Jersey it could be a one off I've met Americans and they'll usually say they're from America but it is quite an interesting one that our knowledge of America is quite in depth through their cultural exports like TV movies media and that sort of thing as well so we're quite like educated just as a byproduct of enjoying their 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 art and st stuff like that as well. Uh, 
I wouldn't say I'm from Glasgow over Scotland because no one probably even knows where Glasgow's from, especially here in Asia. So I always, even I'll say Scotland sometimes, people won't know where Scotland is. So I, I usually say I'm from Britain, from UK. Then they know, then they'll diss my food fairly, I guess. But it's an interesting comparison, especially between Canada and America. And it's not just about geography, it's about that mentality of, as you said, Canadians would rather just kind of blend in maybe and not shout where they're from, as in not because they're not proud, but just because they're not uh, big headed and they're just more humble people, maybe. But it's an interesting comparison yeah, in that way. Something I think. that I often hear as a Canadian, and it's that Canadians are so polite. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Are Canadians more polite than Americans? Is there truth to this often uh, repeated on the internet meme? Do you need any help? No, I think we're okay. Okay, then. Happy Wednesday, you two. I've been to America a few times, <laughs> and I've met that? such that cool fun. people. So I know Canadian from experience mugging. that there are some really friendly and very polite Americans who are out there. You know, Southern hospitality, all that stuff, right? But in Canada, it's just... There are little things that are socially, almost like socially required in a way that they are not in the United States. Like, oh, if you bump into someone on the sidewalk, you say sorry. People always say Canadians say sorry. It's just, you don't want to offend people. I think Americans don't care so much about offending people. It's just like, this is America. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's my list of 10 ways that Canadians are in fact different than Americans. Let me know what you think of your list. Yeah, tell me what you think about that. So, yeah, with regards to the last one, yeah, I guess Canadians or people from Canada are known for being polite. And yeah, again, but in my experience, meeting Americans, the ones I've met have always been very friendly, quite outgoing. But again, just generally nice people. I think from every country, most, the majority of people are just like all the same, just normal people, just what they got on, work, they're friendly, polite. It's just the extremes of some countries can be a bit too much. So maybe in this case, it's like the extremes of America, Americans. But tell me what you think about that. Tell me if what ways you think Canadians and Americans are different, if there's any that weren't on this list. And tell me what you think about the points he raised on here, if you agree with them or disagree. Thanks.